Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be continuing talking about lesson 12.4, which is food production. Technically, in this specific week, we'll be talking about genetically modified organisms. Industrial agriculture has enabled us to feed more people, but our continuing population growth demands still more innovation. Some potential solutions arose in the late 80s for the first time. Advances in genetics enabled scientists to directly alter the genes of organisms, including crop, plants, and livestock. This gene revolution could improve world nutrition and the efficiency of agriculture while lessening impacts on ecosystem. But because it was new, it may also pose unexpected risks. Any process in which scientists directly manipulate an organism's DNA is called genetic engineering. Organisms modified organisms, okay, or genetically modified organisms, the GMOs, are engineered using a technique called recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA is a DNA taken from multiple organisms and pieced together or recombined in the process. Scientists place genes that could for desired traits in the genomes of organisms lacking those traits. Rapid growth, pest resistance, and frost tolerance are commonly engineered traits in crop plants. Animals can also be genetically modified. For example, the goats have been engineered to give milk that can be processed into a drug that treats people whose blood clots abnormally. The creation of genetically modified organisms is one aspect of biotechnology, the use of genetic engineering to introduce new genes into organisms to produce more valuable products, as a biotechnology has helped us develop medicines, clean up pollution, understand the causes of diseases, and dissolve life-threatening blood clots, and technically improve crops and livestock. And then we have the risks and benefits of genetically modified organisms. So, technically the risks are potential for supersets that are resistant to pest-resistant crops, contamination of non-GM plants, the benefit insect-resistant crops reduce the need for insecticides, herbicides-resistant crops encourage telegal conservation. Then we have the industrial food production feedlots. Alternative to open grazing in which energy-rich food is delivered to a concentrated group of livestock or poultry. So the benefit is to reduce soil degradation and fertilizers use and the cost which technically requires antibiotic use and potential for water contamination in animal stress. 